in these problems, we are evaluating powers of 10. So 10 raised to some power, some exponent. And um, here we have 10 to the eighth. That's 10 multiplied by itself eight times. That's going to be a really big number. And off the top of my head, um, I don't think I can do that multiplication problem 10 times itself eight times really quickly in my head. Well, luckily, there's a pattern here that you should be aware of. And um, let's let's just start by listing a few powers of 10. So if we take 10 to the first power, well, anything to the first power is just itself. So that's 10. If we take 10 to the second power, 10 times 10 is 100. If we take 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. And if we did 10 to the fourth power, we'd have 10,000. And you may be noticing a pattern here. So this is 10,000. In the first power, we have one zero. Second power, two zeros. Third power, three zeros, etc. So any power of 10 is a one with this many zeros behind it. So 10 to the eighth power, I can easily write with a, as a one and then count out eight zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then to figure out what number this is, we usually put commas every three zeros starting from the left side here. So these are the, the thousands and the millions. So we've got 100 million here. So 10 to the eighth power is 100 million. We can do this in the reverse direction too. If we want to rewrite this 100,000 as a power of 10, we can just count the zeros. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is 10 to the fifth power because there was a one with five zeros after it. So that's a little shortcut for calculating the powers of 10.